Hey guys, welcome to Yoga with Sammy. I'm Sammy and today I'm going to take you through a really simple full body stretch. You don't even have to get up off the floor and you don't even need a mat. So this will be great for when you get up in the morning or before you go to bed at night or if you just need a little break and want to tune into your body throughout the day. So just coming into a comfortable seated position, move the flesh away from your sitting bones, take a nice deep inhale and feel your breath coming up through your spinal column all the way up through the crown of your head. And exhale, soften the shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale again, lift through the upper body. And exhale as you soften down into your hips and legs. One more nice deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And inhale, interlocking your fingers, pressing your palms away, sinking back into your belly, rounding through your chest and dropping your chin down towards your chest. Then inhale as you take your palms up towards the ceiling, shoulders down away from your ears as you press up into your palms, soften down into your hips. Inhale, then exhale, lowering the left hand down, reaching up and over with the right hand, feeling your right side body opening. Inhaling up, exhaling over, inhale to reach, exhale to soften down into that supporting arm. Inhaling up and exhale, walking your hands forward and just folding forward, <sighs> folding forward at the hips, letting go into this position. You might be able to soften all the way forward, bringing your forehead down towards the floor and just anchoring your hips back into the floor as you feel your upper body tipping forward. And slowly press yourself back up, coming over onto all fours. Stack your hips above your knees and your shoulders above your hips. And moving with your breath, inhaling into some cat cows. So just dropping your belly down towards the floor, reaching back into your sitting bones. Exhale, rounding through your spine, drawing the navel in. Inhale, lengthening, offering your heart center forward, shoulders down away from your ears. Exhale, feel your shoulder blades sliding away from one another. as you press down into your palms and lift up into your belly. One more time, inhale, open, and exhale. Inhaling, walking your knees back slightly. We try to keep our hips stacked above our knees as we reach our hands forward. You're gonna walk your hands forward, coming into a chest and shoulder opener. So roll your upper arms in towards each other, spread your fingers and thumbs nice and wide and then lifting up into your sitting bones, slowly, 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 lower your chest down to the floor. And maybe your forehead comes to rest on the mat. If you feel like you can go a little further, you can come up onto the tops of your fingers and thumbs. And again, just rolling the upper arms in towards each other, setting the shoulders down the back, and then dropping down. And really try to soften into your chest, soften into your shoulders. Staying here for a couple more breaths. Just breathing naturally. And lower your palms to the floor, forearms to the floor, look between your hands. We're gonna slide our chest forward, coming onto our belly. Taking your hands underneath your shoulders, Squeeze your buttocks and lengthen back into your toes so your legs are nice and active. Keep your elbows working in towards your chest and inhale. Peeling your heart center up off the floor, shoulders off the floor, looking forwards. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, pressing down into your palms, coming up a little higher this time. Exhale, lower down. This time coming up into a full cobra. 
elbows working in, soft bend through the elbows, lengthening back into your lower body, reaching back into your toes, and lots of length through your lower back. Exhale, lower down. If you like, you can repeat that same pose, cobra position, or if you feel ready to go a little bit further into a deeper spinal stretch, you can come up into upward dog. So lifting the hips up off the floor, pressing down into your palms and straightening your arms, shoulders down away from the ears as you take your gaze upwards. Exhale, knees to the floor, lowering your hips back to your heels, forehead to the floor and arms alongside your legs, coming into child's pose. And just breathe here for a couple of breaths, rocking your hips from side to side to release your lower back. And slowly roll yourself up. Coming forward onto all fours again, preparing to come into downward dog. Tuck your toes under and have a look at your hands and just check that your fingers and thumbs are spread nice and wide. Lifting your knees, hovering them up above the floor and leading with your sitting bones. Lift your hips up, taking your hips up, up, up and allowing that to help lengthen your spine. And when your arms, shoulders, spine are all outstretched, lift up in through your belly and begin to alternate lifting and lowering your heels, one side and then the other. Feel the backs of your legs opening and lengthening. Breathing naturally. And on your next inhale, lifting both heels nice and high, lifting up into your sitting bones and exhaling, softening your heels down towards the floor. We're gonna hold here for just a few breaths. And in the meantime, just check that your fingers and thumbs are spread nice and wide, pressing down evenly into your th fingers, thumbs and palms, drawing that energy up your arms, lifting up through your spine into your sitting bones. Exhale as you soften your heels down towards the floor, letting your head hang heavy. And feel as if your breath is flowing throughout every cell in your body. One more breath here. And then inhale, lowering your knees to the floor. Step your right foot in between your hands and just soften into your hips. Remembering we're just trying to get a nice full body stretch. So dropping down into your hips. And if you like, you can take your hands to rest on your front knee, shoulders down away from your ears, relaxing into your upper body. And just allowing the weight of your upper body to drop down into your hips and then gravity simultaneously drawing your hips down towards the floor. With every exhale, feel your body softening and releasing just a little more. Inhale and exhale, hands to the floor, stepping back onto all fours and step the left foot forward dropping down, lengthening into your hips, coming into a lunge, and then taking your hands to your knee, and relax. And the more you relax into this position, your, the more your body will naturally open. Soften through your face. Excellent, and taking your hands down, bringing your knees back together and coming over to sit. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees falling out to the sides, coming into butterfly pose. And dropping your elbows down into your knees and folding forward at your hips. Begin to gently encourage your knees down towards the floor by pressing your elbows down into your legs until you feel a nice, comfortable stretch through your groin area. And you can just allow your upper body and your head to surrender forwards. And you might feel a bit of a stretch coming up through the back of the spine and the neck area as well. Two more breaths here. And 
can slowly roll up. And we'll come down to lay on our back for our final stretch. Coming into a spinal twist, taking your right knee up over to the left side of your body, placing your left hand on top of your right knee and very carefully encouraging it down towards the floor. And you can place your right arm wherever it feels comfortable, either just out to the side or at shoulder height, and then turning to look over towards the right. And you might feel your shoulder and knee naturally come up off the floor and that's totally okay. Just allow them to come up and then gently working them down in the opposite direction to create that spinal twist. And inhaling back to center, change sides, straighten out through the right leg, bending your left knee, taking it over to the right side of your body and placing that left arm wherever it feels comfortable today. You might like to take it out to shoulder height and then turning to look over towards the left. Now soften through your belly. And come back to center. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And then placing the soles of your feet on the floor and allowing your knees to fall in towards each other. And just taking a moment here, turning your palms up towards the ceiling, arms by your side. Gently tuck your chin and close your eyes. Just noticing how your body feels after this short and sweet practice. And how easy it is to feel good. So just taking this time for ourselves throughout the day can make such a difference to how we show up and how we feel throughout the rest of the day. And now slowly rolling over onto your right side and pressing yourself up to sit. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope this practice helped you to feel better um, and if you would like to stay for another couple of minutes of meditation you can just stay and relax wherever you are and enjoy this beautiful mantra meditation coming up next. Namaste.